This episode of Storytellers is brought to you by these fine companies. I'm Jim Dunn. I'm a storyteller for Competition Plus TV. Kenji business was uh, Mopar cars. He'd get the steering wheels changed over, take them back over to Tokyo and sell them there. That was his job, so he was interested in Chrysler. So he'd come over, I would like to race. Well, it's not that easy. He said, well, so I said, well, do you have a class? Because they opened up the drag strip after we were there. He says, yeah, I want to run alcohol. I said, okay, I'm going to sell you this alcohol car. This car here, and I'll give you some pistons. Just put it on alcohol and go race it. Okay, how much you want? Uh, I want 18000 for it. Okay, I think about it. He comes back. He says, okay, if I bring a friend. I said, sure. He says, oh, this guy owns an alder. He wants to look. He's an American guy. Walks around, walks around. Eh, 18, huh? I said, yep. I don't think it's worth that much. Oh, yeah, I don't think so. I said, well, you're right. I don't think so either. Well, how, what will you take? I said, 19. No, you said you wanted 18. I said, I did, but it was too cheap. I want 19. And Kenji goes, oh, oh, I pay you 18. I said, you trying for 20? I told you, it's 19. Flat, I pay you. <laughs> so, but I didn't know at that time the Japanese people liked to bargain. You know, we call it chiseling, but that's their bargaining and stuff and all that. And so I got him to, ra to drive, and he was non automatic, very good, but he was black belt in that wooden sword where they get all suited up and they beat each other with the swords. He says, oh, Mr. Dunn, if you're slow, you hurt. <laughs> because they hit you hard, you know. He's oh, he was black belt. So I was telling him, I says, okay, can you do this and this? And he'd make a run or two and he'd go, he do, he changed. I said, Kenji, how come you didn't do what I told you? Well, I think it's better this way. I said, really? Yeah. I says, you're black belt, right? Did you have a good teacher? Oh, I had the best. I had honorable so-and-so. Uh, did you tell him, well, I don't want to hold the sword that way because I like it better this way? Oh, he would throw me out of the class. You call me Honorable Mr. Dunn because next time you don't do what I want, get on the plane, go home. I understand. <laughs> he followed the rules <laughs> to, to a deal. But I, I says, okay, I says, you're new, but all new drivers, not just because he's Japanese. I says, go in pre-stage, but the other guy pre-stage, count one, two, three, pull the visor down and stage. You're going to have to stage first because they don't know what you're going to do. I wouldn't stage before you if I was racing you. So stage, and I guarantee you, within two seconds, they'll be in the lights, you know. He goes in, and he wouldn't go in. He, I said, he's slow. And he started in an ending. We were at the Winter Nationals, and I went over to Oswell. I says, I can't get him to stage. I says, I tell him and tell him. I says, he'll just do what you want to do. I says, he'll be right behind you. So he goes in, Oswald stayed, we stayed. I came back, I said, you were slow. First time I ever saw him get mad because they control their tempers good. And he got, I went in quick. I never saw him this mad. I said, no, you were slow. I was not, I was very quick. I says, he staged first. Yes, and I staged quick. I says, you're supposed to stage first. Oh, no, he has experience. It would be a disgrace for me to 
go in before him and say, I'm ready to race and you must wait. <laughs> I said, whoa. <laughs> so I tell, I tell, really, I must go apologize. I said, no, they'll kill you. <laughs> I'll handle it. And I went and told the guys and they're all going, you got to be kidding me. I says, no, it would be a disgrace for him to t take the honor from you to be able to stage first. <laughs> and that was half a season before we got that. So is it hard to commute? Yes, it is. <laughs> do it. Okay, I'm going to do it. Okay. <laughs> Start when you're ready. Hi, my name's Jim Dunn. I'm 84, so I can tell you a lot of good stories, and I'm telling them to you right now for what's the name? <laughs> <laughs> Competition Plus. <laughs> Competition Plus TV. <laughs> You got me laughing now. <laughs> Hi, my name's Jim Den. I've been racing for 65 years. I got more stories than anybody, so they call me a storyteller. And I'm doing it for Parts Plus TV right now. <laughs> it would be Competition Plus TV. No, I'm doing it for Parts Plus. <laughs> Parts Plus pays me. <laughs> my name's Jim Den. I'm here to be a storyteller. And I'm here because of competition TV. <laughs> Plus. Plus. <laughs> uh, let's just keep it simple. I'm Jim Dunn, and you're watching Competition Plus TV. I'm Jim Dunn. I'm a star. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, come back tomorrow. <laughs> you get your own blooper reel. That's right.